female genital mutilation. This is a problem that we are facing in Sierra Leone. If they see their children um, um, who are not mutilated in the home and the others are with the society people, you know, they feel that they are not belong. So because they want their children to belong, that is why they always mutilate them. So I know that if women change this mentality, men will accept. Because their wives are involved. Yeah, they accept. I don't meet with our elderly mothers when they get in touch with a child at the age of three years old. She was bleeding and she bleed to death. <laughs> I was without a camera, but what I did, I have a friend, she is a journalist. I was there and I called on her. Before she can arrive at the scene, the women, they hide the, the, the child so that she cannot set eyes on the child. When I do meet with those uh, old women and tell them to stop this FGC, they do come at my home and tell my mom, Mom, if you don't advise your child for her to take up her um, attitude from our cultural affairs, we will see the with her. So my mom become afraid and she was crying. But I do sensitize my mom again. Mom, listen, I cannot take out my, myself from this. The only thing I have to protect my people. So if I protect them tomorrow, they will become a future leader. Female genital mutilation harms women, especially during childbirth. Because when it comes to childbirth, the vagina will never stretch. I'm also a victim of this problem. I know what I've been going through. I have um, miscarriages over six times. I think seven. This is my seventh time of going through a miscarriage because I know it's because of this female genital mutilation. Yeah, 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 yeah.